Stand by. Oh, what's up, smarty people? He's Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live and in living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. (laughs) It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do I always send you? DJLittleRock.com. One more time. DJLittleRock.com. Check availability. Get a free price quote, and maybe you can have me at your next event. You know I like to party with the people. The people need to be entertained. Are you not entertained? Also, if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast. It's called What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. Now, on with the show. Today on the program, Pi Day. <laughs> it is March 14th, 314. So why not talk a little bit about Pi Day? I'm kind of excited. Pi Day is an annual celebration of the mathematical constant Pi. Pi Day is observed on March 14th, 314 in the month day format since 3, 1, and 4 are the first three significant figures of Pi. It was founded in 1988 by Larry Shaw, an employee of the Exploratorium. Celebrations often involve eating pie or holding pie recitation competitions. In 2009, the United States House of Representatives supported the designation of Pie Day. UNICEFCO's 40th General Conference designated Pie Day as the International Day of Mathematics in November of 2019 alternative dates for the holiday include july 22nd 22 7 an approximation of pi Hmm. oh oh, 22 over 7 ah i see what they did there and june 28th 6.28 an approximation of two times pi ah or tau (laughs) the history of pi day Uh, Once again, in 1988, the earliest known official or large-scale celebration of Pi Day was organized by Larry Shaw at the San Francisco Exploratorium, where Shaw worked as a physicist with staff and public marching around one of its circular spaces, then consuming fruit pies. The Exploratorium continues to hold Pi Day celebrations. On March 12, 2009, the U.S. House of Representatives passed a non-binding resolution recognizing March 14, 2009 as National Pi Day. For Pi Day 2010, Google presented a Google Doodle (laughs) celebrating the holiday with the word Google laid over images of circles and pie symbols. And for the 30th anniversary in 2018, it was Dominique Asseal Pie, hmm, Do- Dominique Ansel Pie, with the circumference divided by its di- diameter. The entire month of March 2014, 314, was observed by some as Pi Month. <laughs> in the year 2015, March 14th was celebrated as Super Pi Day. It had a special significance as the date was written 31415 in the month day year format at 926 and 53 seconds. The date and time together represented the first 10 digits of pi and later the second pi constant represented all of its pi digits. <laughs> observance pie day has been observed in many ways including eating pie throwing pies discussing the significance of the number pie due to a pun based on the words pie and pie p-i-e being homophones in english than the coincidental circular shape of many pies also some schools hold competitions as to which student can recall pie to the highest number of decimal places Massachusetts Institute of Technology has often mailed its application decision letters to prospective students for delivery on Pi Day. Starting in 2012, MIT has announced it will put those decisions privately online on Pi Day at exactly 628, which they have called Tau Time, to honor the rival numbers Pi and Tau equally. (laughs) 
In 2015, the regular decisions were put online at 9.26 a.m. following that year's Pi Minute. And in 2020, regular decisions were released at 1.59 p.m., making the first six digits of Pi. June 28th is 2 Pi Day, known as Tau Day, 2 times Pi. Also (laughs) known by the Greek letter Tau, which is like a little R, is a common multiple in mathematical formulae. Uh, Some have argued Tau, or the I guess it's more like a little T, is the more fundamental constant and that Tau Day should be celebrated instead. Celebrations of this date jokingly suggest eating twice the pie. (laughs) Princeton, New Jersey hosts numerous events combined celebration of pie and Albert Einstein's birthday, which is also March 14th. Einstein lived in Princeton for more than 20 years while working at the Institute for Advanced Study. In addition to pie eating and recitation contests, there's an annual Einstein lookalike contest. Well, that's a little bit about pie day. How are you celebrating pie day? Drop some comments. I want to know, are you eating pie? What's your favorite kind of pie? How far can you recite the number pie? (laughs) What do you use pie for? (laughs) Let me know. (laughs) Oh man. Always trying to fill my head with knowledge. (laughs) That's it for this edition of what makes you smarter. It's keys, Dan. Oh yeah. By the way, if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast. It's called what makes you famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag. What makes you famous? That's it for this edition of what makes you smarter. It's keys, Dan radio, what.com DJ little Peace. I'm out of here.